Hello, today is Friday, November 29th. It's already the end of November. November went by very quickly. Last week's video I was telling you how I was busy with stuff for a festival and that happened this Wednesday. I had a lot to get done with people. Rocky, Binod, a friend named Rahul. We even had some help from some of the younger members of Bodhi and uh, yeah it went over pretty well. Not a lot of people were interested or wanted to talk about things but the few people who did it was a good it was a good interaction. People stopped by and really were wanted to hear what was going on and showed that I showed them stuff and even though there was somewhat of a language barrier um, I, I tried my best to explain it to them and if they didn't understand something I tried to say it in a different way and since I was the 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 outsider I tried to work as hard as I could to to make it understandable for them but um, I don't know I think I did okay I got there pretty early in the morning um, I helped I had to set something up in like very quickly and then the rest of the time I just sat by my table I talked to people I really was not interested in a lot of the politics of what was going on at the with the festival. Um, I just really enjoyed like talking to people and being there. I'm a little crazy in this episode because I was like I had a lot of like adrenaline and energy because I was very like I was very manic because I was so I had to be on and I was kind of performing to the public so I had to kind of be on my game so it gave me a lot of gives me a lot of like adrenaline and I had to get that out by like being energetic for people and excited. I took some people bird watching, like people I knew, um, but it was like people I've met here, and then some of some people that uh, just came t yeah, that day that were visiting. Venerable Matea's Bodhi mom, uh, she came on the bird watching tour, and she is a nun, Buddhist nun from Canada, and she works in um, the Canadian government for waste uh, contaminated site cleanup. So it was really cool. She's a biology. Uh, biologist, environmentalist, so it was cool. I took her on the tour. We saw cranes. They flew right over, like, less than 20 feet up in the air, so it was really awesome. I was excited to show my bird knowledge to people, so that was fun. Um, it was just a short-lived thing, but I had a good time with it. I taught some kids about the wetlands, and I taught them what the importance of the wetlands were and why we have to save them. It was a school group that came, and they seemed interested, I think. I think overall it was pretty good. Okay. This is the start of the Crane Festival here at the Peace Stupa. And here is what our hard work came out to be. So, we have a couple different things going on. Here's the table we've set up. I created the banner and then we got it printed. We have three stations. We have birds need to feed. I made some bird feeders out of water bottles. I'm going to show people how to make them if they want to make them. And there they are. And there's a lot of seed on the ground, so we had a big mess. Alright, the second thing is birds invest in the nests. So we're showing kind of bird houses and what the bird nests look like. So we have a bunch of bird houses that we made that we're going to try to sell. Uh, we have an old bird house with a nest in it. Uh, that's a little bird nest there. And there's a crow's nest right there. And the last thing is learning about the wetlands. And uh, we made a little model. Well, I made a little model here this morning rushing to make it and I cut up pieces of paper to uh, make like little little um, little cranes and there's Benoed he really wants to be in the video the video you do? yeah yeah make, 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 make. yeah yeah you're in it in your face let's see it all right he got face painted <laughs> yeah ooh I'm gonna get some yeah, yeah. Benoed was one of the helpers of the crane he made the head Brian. all right Darmendra just gave me a hat Crane Sanctuary hat. This took three days to make. We were really rushing with it, and so there's the crane. So, and Benod is the Lumini bird watching tour guide when I leave, so he's been going on tours with me. I had to make this out of metal, metal poles, covered them with cloth, and stapled the feathers on and used sawdust and glue to make the head and this is a stick there's just a lot that went on to make this thing and it was really hard um, 
I helped make the wings here. So there is the crane. And people like to take pictures by it. I'm proud of this this work here, and it took a lot of hard work and a lot of patience and uh, some frustrating moments uh, with our uh, creative differences, but it came out to be okay. Like it looks really good. All right, I like that that guy he put his hand over the crane, but didn't touch it because he respects the art. I like it. Look at that. Just not just hovering it because he respects the art. That guy knows what's up. All right, Suman. He's been my helper today. He helped with. What do you help with these? Show him off. Yeah, he helped with this. Nice. Helped. He helped me fill the bird feeders. He was really helpful, and he helped me with the wetland too, right? This. Yeah. He was also helping put put these together. Yeah, the Saris crane. They look great. Okay. Good. All right, thanks Suman, he's taking a video of me. This is the actual height of the crane, so they're actually about six feet tall. Yeah? yeah. I'm gonna get some face paint too. Yours looks good. <laughs> this pair. You zoom in? Zoom. Zoom. Video <laughs> Karitan. All right, so it's only 10 o'clock. There aren't a lot of people here yet, but uh, it's still coming together. It's still early, so hopefully there'll be more people. <laughs> it's up so much. We had to carry uh, the cranes from the Bodhi Institute, which is like maybe a little more than a mile. Maybe it's like two miles away. It was interesting because we had to dr drive really slowly on a motorcycle while I was holding the giant crane. And we were going through the like shop area and everyone was looking and they were really confused. But it was a good way to broadcast the message that we were having a crane festival. It's looking pretty good. I'm proud of everything. Even if no one comes, I'm just happy about it. We only had a couple days to work on it, but um, it came out pretty well. Even last night I had to drive in an electric tuk-tuk to hear from Bodhi back and forth carrying these tables. And the first one I did with Binod, but then um, the second one I did by myself. So I've never driven a rickshaw before, but it was it, it was fine. I, I got here, I did it all by myself. I set it up in the dark with my headlamp and uh, yeah, man, it's this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy how it turned out so far. All right, Suman, what did you get? You can't see it, but there's a crane. You got a crane, and you got a Buddha hand on your forehead. It looks good. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I just came back from taking some people bird watching. I also got uh, a crane on my face. Also, the International Crane Foundation, which is a organization which helped uh, fund the crane sanctuary is uh, the guy who founded it created George Archibald he's here he was also on the bird walk and he kind of took over the tour so that was good and then I kind of on the side told people about birds and um, yeah it was cool but, so San has a bike that has not, what is this not bike. it's a it's the bike. it's the cycle yeah. it's a cycle with a uh, with like a, it's a whistle, but it's an electric whistle that sounds like a really high-pitched bird noise, and it's really annoying. And what happened? Someone put a rope around it. Someone put a, so we heard it from all the way over there, and someone put a, someone had put a rope on the button, so it was continuously playing. So we heard it from far away. So San went to go see what was going on, and he just took the battery out. <laughs> All right, this is the last couple people. We're just hanging out. People mainly just came and looked, and they did, they just took pictures and left. No one really talked to us about it, but it's okay. Everyone got silent when I turned on the camera. This one too. Look at the balloons. They've been popping all day randomly. Cranes. Those cranes cost about 5,000 rupees, and they don't even look half as good as these boys. Yeah, that we made with less than 2,000 rupees. Yeah, say something. Oh, something. Uh, so we have 
three stations here. We have yeah. the natural nests. Yeah. This yeah. is a crow's nest. Yeah. A lot of people don't think that this is real, but I have to tell them this is a real crow's nest that we found in the tree made of wire. Yes, at the nunnery. Yeah, yeah. This is a crane. Not a crane. No, no. The crane is too big. This is a, a sparrow nest and then maybe another sparrow nest in there. And then we have birdhouses. This is from the nunnery too. We have birdhouses that no one bought, but we'll have to... <laughs> I don't know what we're going to... Do you want a birdhouse? 500 rupees. Oh, yes? oh he, he was surprised by that price. <laughs> and over here we have bird feeders. Yeah. That's, I think that's for men. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. Yeah, these are bird feeders. They are not for sale, but. Yes, they were time. Bodhi ma basi rakhe chale le. Ekhate ji ko to mandir ma. Ani sange. All right, so I'm leaving the crane sanctuary now. Overall, it was a success, I think. Um, we actually sold one birdhouse, and uh, I gave away a bird feeder with it. So. 500 rupees, which is like five dollars. So that was good, better than none. Um, so I did sell one. It was it was to one of the Lumi Development Trust members. He's a Guruji's assistant. So um, he, it was very nice of him to do that. So I was very happy about that. But uh, the rest of the bird feeders we put up in the uh, around the Peace Pagoda. So they're just hanging in the trees there. And so now I am driving the electric rickshaw back to Bodhi, just like I did last night. And I hope it does not crap out on me, but we'll see. Hey. <laughs> to make those cranes in three days so we started off with metal rods we had to go to a welder and he had to weld the toe pieces into the metal rods and then he put holes in them and then we brought them back to Bodhi we bent them ourselves into the shape we wanted and then attach them to boards with with nuts and bolts and then the rest of the time we were making the frames and the body and so we had to take bamboo and bend it into a circle and then we had different size circles to make a body frame and then we attached it with like wire basically everything we found around the Bodhi Institute and the only things we bought were like glue and paint it was like all recycled material and so we made like really awesome cranes it was an interesting process it was very a lot of guessing and people were really impressed with it I think so it was good and there's my trusty steed that I had to drive the other night and the fun thing about driving this thing at night is that there are no headlights that one does not work you have to hold your phone out with a flashlight on to see in the dark so it was a good time. I hope you enjoyed the festival. I did, and uh, I think a lot of people did too. So I'll see you next week. Bye.